In this video, we're going to discuss how we would calculate an appropriate tolerance for the two and a quarter center to center distance for these quarter inch dowels, and an appropriate tolerance for the inch and an eighth center to center distance between the pin hole and the dowel hole. And as we know, these discussions must always start with the part drawing. First, we'll determine the tolerance for the inch and one eighth distance from the dowel hole to our indexing pin half inch hole. And when we examine the drawing, we see that the 3.75 bolt hole circle diameter controls this positional tolerance. Because it has three decimal place accuracy, it has a plus or minus five thou tolerance, meaning this bolt hole circle can have a maximum diameter of 3.755 and a minimum diameter of 3.745. Next, we should convert this to a radius value because these holes are machined around the center of the part, which means the actual tolerance is 1.8725 to 1.8775, meaning the part tolerance for our purposes is 5 thou. Now that we know our part tolerances, we can use our 20 to 50% rule to figure out our jig tolerance. Because 50% is still quite a tight tolerance, we won't bother with the 20%, meaning the 1.125 dimension and have a tolerance of two and a half thou in our drawing. Now that I've calculated my part tolerance is two and a half thou, I've gone ahead and added it to both dimensions. As a limit dimension in the case of the distance from the dowel hole to the half inch indexing pin hole, and as a plus or minus symmetrical distance in the case of the distance between the two dowel holes. 